We haven't done this in a long time, me and you. It's been a hot minute month, isn't it? And that's not a sentence, but it's been a month. Hmm. Well, let me tell you one thing. Firstly, let's just check this focus. Yeah, you're in focus. All right, we got some tea to sip and discuss together. Firstly, hi, I missed you. <laughs> Thank you for letting me like take the time off in the past month. It was needed. Let me tell you this right now. If you are going through a hard time and you feel like your personality is lost and you are sad, anxious, you're grieving, whatever it might be, happiness comes back, okay? I kept telling myself that, not believing it. <laughs> but every day, slowly, slowly, happiness comes back back. So happy new year. I hope you had a wonderful festive period. I hope 2024 is a year of fruitfulness, blessings, love, happiness, good health, you know, all the good cringe things that we actually do want in our lives, even though it makes me sound like my mother when I wish people good health. <laughs> I ended up booking a solo trip to LA. My plans were not planning so i ended up literally two days before which we'll get to in a second but i ended up two days before booking a trip to la i had a cousin that gave birth there my sister was going anyway i stayed like not with my sister i stayed separately to her but oh my gosh i had the best time like i really felt more confident day by day i rode horses literally every day i actually played tennis i got way better at tennis because i was playing every single day not just like once a week like i do in london improving at things really makes me happy <laughs> really lame but like getting better at tennis like that's really exciting to me sorry my nose is running because it's so freaking cold here and then my heating is on full blast i have this lip tattoo on do we think it's a bit weird i don't know in terms of duke grief grief is so funny you know it's the kind of thing that consumes you and consumes you and consumes you but every day it consumes you less some days it gets worse again and some days it gets less. But now I'll still cry pretty much most days. Like I'll still feel sad if I go there, if I have a memory or something or like a little thing like come back. But it doesn't consume my being. It's not like I can only focus on my grief. I can now focus on other things and then like occasionally be sad in the day. So to anyone grieving right now, I'm sending you a hug because I promise you it gets better. I promise you it gets easier. There is no way through but to go through it and that sucks. I've wish there was a shortcut I really do but I can guarantee you there will be a day where you won't be consumed by grief anymore so let's address the elephant in the room I'm now single <laughs> Jack and I broke up we transitioned like back into being friends I'm so grateful we had that solid foundation of friendship because I think it was the reason why we were able to have a like healthy breakup and just go back to being friends I'm also really grateful because it showed me that breakups don't need to be like a horrible toxic hate build like thing that the internet or like life has shown me and it can literally be like two people that want the best for each other that love each other but are on two like different paths. There is no tea, no drama, despite what people on the internet are like trying to make out. I feel like people want a story, you know? I understand people want a story or they like expect a story, but I hope this is kind of inspiring that all breakups don't have to be like, I hate you toxic vibes. Like breakups can still be like full of love. I, I didn't know that until now. I still love him. I love his family. Like we hang out, we speak. I'm probably not going to post us so much anymore, but just know that like it's all good vibes. I know you guys have watched us for like literally the past like 10 years if you go back i think you can literally see like some really old videos of us but yeah we're friends i love him it is good vibes he's literally one of the best humans i know and i am so grateful i literally thank the universe every day that we can stay in each other's lives the other tea that people keep asking me is am i gonna get another dog now i change my mind every day i genuinely change my mind every day i fell in love with cooper I'm wondering if anyone has a multi poo and a Pomeranian. Please could you contact me because I am trying to think about things and I don't know. I don't know if I would look at another Pomeranian and think you're not my baby, you know? God, I'm gonna cry now. I just told you that I wasn't crying. <laughs> but I do cry, just I'm not consumed by crying, okay? <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah, I do wonder if I look at a Pomeranian, if I'll think like, mm, you're not, you're not my soul baby but maybe i don't know maybe if it was like from a pup i don't know i don't know anyway anyone any experience let me know with multi poos and pomeranians because those are like my two favorite dogs now like i love multi poos i love how they're so smart like pomeranians any pomeranian mommies and daddies will know they're not the smartest babies are they? No. I love them. I love them so much, but they're not that smart. The other thing is, now that I got no boyfriend, no dog, I've been a bit more free this month. So I've planned quite a few fun little things. Number one, being a girl's trip to the countryside this week. Number two, that I'm going to go visit some friends who live in America. 
soon. But today I'm actually doing debrief, like Christmas debrief with my friend Lauren, we're going for dinner. And I actually wanna do like an everything evening, like an overnight everything evening. I wanna do an overnight mask. I wanna bathe myself in oil tonight. I want to do an overnight hair mask. I'm really trying to look after my hair and I really think it's paying off. Like look how shiny it is and this is like, fourth or fifth day hair, okay? Mm. That's the agenda today and tonight. God, it feels good to be back. It feels good to be back. I'm happy to see you. I bought these back from Air One in LA. So, um, Air One is worth the hype, by the way. I was most excited to go to LA to go to Air One. By the way, I am wearing, look at this. It's the Ritz frame collab. I want it all. I want it all. But this is a little blue cashmere wrap jumper. I actually got it for Christmas. Now, I'm going to talk you through my overnight routine before we go for dinner with Lauren because I'm just preparing everything and getting it ready. On my skin, this is one of my favorite overnight face masks. This is a Shiseido overnight cream and mask. Such a good one. It's really light, but so, so hydrating. And then I might, actually no, I will probably layer it over the top of Skin Assist Overnight Facial from Sarah Chapman. Gonna slather my body in Mirror Water Smooth. This is like my 15th bottle. I'm not even joking. Oh, that reminds me. I need to order some for Amy. I want to put together, for my friend that I'm going to see in the States, I want to put together like a makeup bag or skincare bag or whatever you want to call it of like all my favorite things. So I need to put Mirror Water in there. Anyway, now on my hair, I've been obsessed with these two products for overnight there's a sp specific overnight range i love products that work overnight because i feel like i'm doing two things at once and i love feeling like a multitasking queen it's from christoph robin if you're familiar with this brand you know how much i love them i do have a discount code i will leave that on the screen if you just know what you like and you want to go straight into shopping so there's the night recovery cream and there's the night recovery minoy oil if you've got fine to medium hair i would recommend the cream if you have medium to thicker hair i would recommend the oil they're both like really rich nighttime treatments that help the hair strengths like literally from within the follicle of the hair it really helps with dry weakened ends i know you guys normally can see that like my ends are really brittle but they don't look like that now because <laughs> i've been using all these products religiously and like being so careful with my hair but normally i mean you can go back maybe like six months ago and like my hair just looks kind of fried and this just really helps keep the ends like nice and smooth and silky what i really like about the cream is i can apply this straight onto dry hair so i don't need to wet my hair i don't need to go to sleep with wet hair i don't need to wash my hair get in the shower get out the shower so easy to use i think one of the main ingredients in here is white lotus flower which helps like seal split ends and make the hair look really smooth and the manoi oil is like an intensive treatment oil that helps restore the hair fiber this one's kind of fun because you actually have to place the bottle in hot water to help melt the oil because it is literally a solid oil it's really cool then with both of them you just rinse them out shampoo them in the morning i don't find this really interrupts my sleep i literally like tie my hair up in a bun and move on with my life by the way these are 30 percent off and then with my curl Code, I just checked you can get an extra 10% off so that means 40% off which is goals so we're gonna do that tonight I have been not very good at unpacking from LA because look at this yes there is a snack wrapper here but look I literally haven't unpacked oops but I figured I need all my makeup and skincare like still so ready to go for dinner now and this is what I'm wearing this gorgeous coat ignore all the different laundry detergents I'm trying on my stairs i'm trying to find like a good smell if you have any recommendations the little same jumper i was wearing before adenola leggings because they are my life boots very boring outfit actually but this coat is just so so warm and actually quite chic i just get to dinner and lauren has literally bought me back the snack that i was just eating saying oh i'm on the last of my la snacks yeah. oh look at all these cute little sides that we got going on i think we ordered every side on the menu literally First thing we do when we get home, I am putting my little night recovery Manoi oil in hot water. And this is just gonna help the oil melt. While that melts, I'm gonna get prepared with a little hair clip. I'm fully in my pajamas, by the way. Pajamas X robe combo. Like, I am slimming tonight. I also wanna light a candle. What candle should we light? Ooh. By the way, look at this. Totally empty, my replica candle. This is one of my favorite candles. This and the Beauty Pie candle. Oh, so good. This is replica by the fireplace. I got another one, but I actually save it. Like I save it for special nights. That's how much I love this. When I wake up in the night, like sometimes I wake up and I smell by the fireplace like leftover. Like I don't leave it on obviously, but it just like lingers in the room. <sighs> Happy birthday to me. Then <laughs> it like makes me happy when I smell it in the night, you know? Mm, so good. Let's see, this feels like it's melted. So cool. It's a really, really special product. Right, we're gonna wrap 
up my hair. I'm gonna section my hair. First of all, kind of rough sections. You don't really need to be very neat about this. Okay, we're gonna shake. And then I literally apply the oil from root to tip. It's like a dry oil, so it's not gonna get all over your pillow, all over your face in the night. There's one section. I'm quite religious about this. Like I like covering all the sections because I do apply heat on literally my whole head. Oh, you know, sometimes just doing treatments on yourself feels so good. Yes. And we slather. Slather. We slather. And then what I do is I literally, once my hair is fully slathered in oil, sorry, it's that candle flickering, my face annoying. Then I take my nice big clip, I tie it up. I sleep on my stomach, so this doesn't bother me, but if you sleep on your back, tie your hair up in a bun, like on top of your head. But because I sleep like face down, that really doesn't bother me at all. Then I'll wash my hair in the morning. And makeup remover time. I am gonna go and see my mum in the morning. I haven't seen her since she got back from Christmas. My parents did not come to LA. So I wanna go see my mum. I wanna see Leo, because I haven't seen him in ages. We got the last of Lancome Be Facile. You know what, I try every dupe, I really do. And I would buy the dupes over anything, but nothing is as good as this, even though I buy the L'Oreal Paris one, because I just feel like eye makeup remover is not the kind of product that I need to spend my money on, do you know what I mean? But this is really, really good, I think it is the best. I just would prefer to buy a less expensive eye makeup remover and a more expensive like moisturizer or face mask. Now my little overnight face mask, the one I told you about earlier, the Shiseido one. And then I'm ready for bed and I will wash my hair in the morning. December, January time, great time to analyze your life and reassess, set some goals. I actually didn't set any goals last year. I set one goal and that was to focus on my health. This year I have quite a few goals that I wanna set for myself, but I also want to regroup on life. I feel like that's the kind of like December, January vibe. It's mainly the conversations like my friends and I are having, like that is the vibe. Like a nice January reevaluate and reset. So I got a creative visioning for Ultimate Connection course. I think it's like ultimate connection in all areas of your life. For example, like me, like I love horse riding and focusing more on trying to do that in the new year. It is the new year now in 2024. I almost, I honestly swear, I almost said 2019. This is Shelly Whitehead's course and I'm loving it. It comes also with videos. So I have my laptop out, I watch the videos and then this is the course workbook. So for example, something that I've never even thought about, like I don't wanna give away too much of the course. It's actually so affordable. It's under 20 pounds. You get all the videos, you get the workbook and you can just do it in the comfort of your own, own home. For example, this is something that I have never been asked or thought about or even crossed my mind. And it's about a miracle day. Like what would your miracle day look like? And I feel like that is a great way of trying to focus on like what you love and what's sparks joy within you so it's like where are you who are you with like what do you see what do you feel what do you hear getting into that like positive mindset of like this is what my miracle like most amazing day would look like the questions are who do you love what do you value what are you committed to like what creates true joy, true joy around you and then you go into more like the seven life areas so I think it's seven it's health emotion spirituality family friends relationships personal development career finances like I've never done a course like this where you really like like sit down and focus and think about your life and I honestly think every time you visualize something you're bringing it more into like fruition in your life anyway it's a really really helpful course I'm gonna link it down below also Shelly's videos on the course ah oh, she soothes my soul it literally feels like you're getting a warm hug when you watch her she's so gorgeous you know what else I love about the course it's it's quick it's easy it cuts out the BS I looked at a lot of courses and it was like this is gonna take me like 14 days to complete like I want something that I can do in like a couple evenings a week and still have time to watch friends you know so i'm gonna sit down and do this i got my gang here guys i got literally like three teddies on my bed gremmy is still here my little gremlin lives up in that lampshade lemmy lives in that lampshade Good morning guys. Look how shiny and happy and glossy my hair is this morning. I'm literally getting ready to go and go to my mum's. Very simple, boring outfit actually. Well, maybe that's good because simple is like, I was gonna say productive, but productive isn't the word. Anyway, I'm wearing this Walford bodysuit, which is my favorite bodysuit. Sorry Skims and sorry every other bodysuit brand. And then this belt, which people keep asking me about, it's Helsa and some Paige jeans, the Paige Noella jeans, which are one of my all-time favorite jeans. Although I'm wearing the belt because they are 
way too big on me. And my necklace stack is a real mix, actually. We've got Monica Vinida, Monica Vinida, Raimi, Van Cleef, Miss Oma. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Met me on the tour. Hello, tiny bum. Look at your little ball. I have successfully stolen multiple things from my mum's wardrobe, which you may have seen on YouTube shorts already. I've only been here for like 10 minutes. And I stole a coat, I stole a necklace, I stole a bracelet. <laughs> you can go watch the YouTube shorts. Oh, someone's here. You don't bark when someone's here? You're such a good boy. You don't bark? That's weird. How do we know that you're here though? Wow, you're so peaceful. You must be very zen inside. Someone copied someone's sunglasses. Did someone? Well, that's what you're there for, right? <laughs> They're the best sunnies. Everyone's copied them. The only thing is, which is kind of annoying because now. Dark, yeah, the lens is definitely a bit dark. We're in Summer Hill and Bishop. Such a beautiful tablescape. I love these, like raffia, because my dining room's kind of raffia inspired. How clever is this, by the way? Like mark a pen on a ceramic, and then you can take it off and use it again. So pretty. Well, we're actually standing next to this drilling, so let's just move away from that right now good morning guys how are we today i'm having a marinating and tan day it needs to be washed off but it's not fully developed yet so i'm doing like kind of weird admin -y, eerie things today i want to go and get myself some healthy food healthy snacks i went into my fridge last night you're gonna die i went into my fridge and i didn't have anything sweet to eat i found these mochi this chocolate mochi so i had two i was like my second one i was like this is really weird i was eating moldy off chocolate mochi i had two of them i think it's bad to have off ice cream so i was like i should probably go and get myself some healthy snacks or at least not off snacks <laughs> to have in my house <gasps> the other thing you know what i really wanted to buy was i keep seeing the girlies online use magnesium powder to help them sleep and my jet lag has been so bad it's never been this bad it's so boring to talk about jet lag it's like talking about having a cold or something however i don't like taking pills because i just feel like it's so unnecessary like i'd rather my body just keep up with the time zones everyone always says they're really impressed that i always find parking but you know why it's because i've got such a little dinky car that i can get in like a half space but i think that's gonna change soon so yeah, I want to try and get some magne magnesium powder and then maybe to crave, crave, a uh, little herb sugar cravings, mainly like a fruit tea. So that's going to be my haul of the day. Let's roll. I got my little Pasalacqua bag from the Senses of Lake Shop. It's literally my favorite bag. What do we think of my bougie ass hat, by the way? Ritz Paris, in case you were wondering how bougie I am. I was thinking about going to Whole Foods and I was like, actually, I think Bailey and Sage is more the vibe today. Bailey and Sage is more like a delicatessen market Whole Foods. Foods, like it's kind of bougie and it's really nice. Bougie's my new favorite word, by the way. I've never seen this before, and it's so unlike me to crave something like this. But how good does it look? Okay, what do we get, guys? I actually found this magnesium powder, which is pure magnesium. There was a couple with like vitamin D, vitamin whatever. This is pure magnesium, so I'm gonna put this in my tea tonight. And I got nighttime berry tea. It's berries, echinacea, and chamomile, which sounds so nice from Puka. How good is that? It also smells really good, like the packaging. A bit boring. Got some salmon, very healthy. Oh, I got this. Yum. I'm gonna try this now. Why was I craving something like this? It's the most on me thing ever. Have you ever seen me eat something like this? Like eggs? Cooked egg? Well, but I don't know why I really liked it. We tried this like lemon drink in the US and they don't really have anything similar here, but I found this Betty Buzz lemon club soda. So I thought I'd try that. I like the packaging too. Okay, should we try this? Is this gonna be good? I low-key just wanna like eat it like a cake. What is wrong with me? No, it's a bit ratchet to eat like a cake, isn't it? Let's see. Let's get a fork. Why do I like this kind of stuff? It's very French. Very Francais. Okay, let's try it. It's a potato. Oh my god, it's so good. And red pepper. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, yum. That's really good. Oh, I can make something like this, you know, like sliced potato inside. Mm -hmm. That is good. Mmm. That reminds me it's time for vitamin C. I might have some echinacea just because everyone's getting sick around me. I'm so excited to try this tonight. I love my evening routine. January evening routines. So calming. Good morning, guys. I'm in my thermals and a cashmere jumper today. Look at this, double. This cashmere jumper is from March 4. It's beautiful. And I think it's time for me to clear out perfumes. What do you think? Let me give you a closer look. So we have all of these here. So many of them. And then over here, we have quite a few more. Ooh. 
Jeez, I just love them, my babies. By the way, this is one of my favorite little trinket dishes. It has an evil eye on it. I have a discount code for this, which I will put on the screen and leave down below. This, one of the air hostesses on the plane was like, you have to try this sauce. I took it home with me. I need to take this into the kitchen because I've been meaning to try this on my salad. Maybe I'll do that today. But there's more perfumes. Oh. So we have a couple of perfumes here, believe it or not. These are the perfumes I don't really use. So we have like Jo Malone, Replica Lazy Sunday Morning, Serge Lutin, Dior Joy, which is engraved. This this I use all the time, but I have the newer version of it. This is like five years old now. I think it's finished. I just like the bottle. We have a Giorgio Armani limited edition C that has like glitter in it. This is another Armani, Armani, another version of C. So I have my original C, which I use all the time, but these are like the other variations. This is also finished, but it's just so pretty. And then Chanel Chance, which is literally 15 years old. I think it's one of my first ever perfumes. I mean, it used to be pink and I just don't want to get rid of it. I don't know what to do about these ones, but let's tackle the ones I actually do use. Hold on, it's a stay. Good morning, Cherubina. Is a freak. Is that how you start your phone calls in the morning? <laughs> oh my god! A stay just called me with the tea, but it was quick tea, so let's do this. The perfumes here that I don't use so much. I mean, this. This is actually a bath oil. I should probably take this and put this beside my bath even though it's beautiful. Because you can't actually even see it here. Oh, we got Flower Bomb. This is one of my all-time favorites ever, ever, ever. Serge Lutin en Bois Veni. I've been through so many of this. I've used it since I was like 18. It's beautiful. A brand that I absolutely love that I think is so underrated is BDK. This is vanilla leather and this is one of my favorites. You can see, look at this. This is Two Bros Imperial. Beautiful. I kind of want to like have these more spread out so that I can actually remember what I have and reach for what I want. This Prada is gorgeous. I get so many compliments on this, but the lid broke. Killian Angel share, obviously. This is a really cute little replica Lazy Sunday Morning McMini. You know what I don't use? This. I don't really use this, Jim Malone. Another one I don't really use is this. So we got My Way. My Way. And this is like the Killian Tom Ford section. My faves. Jimmy Choo, I want you and I want you forever, which we love. Flower Bomb Dew. Flower Bomb with my initials. That's a bit better and I only cleared out a few. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to have a lot of questions. And normally at the start of the year I do a Q&A. So I'm going to do that either next week or the week after. If you do have any questions that are burning inside, make sure you follow me on Instagram and you can leave them in the Instagram like questions box because I'll probably read the questions from there. And that concludes our first vlog of 2024. I'm going to the country with the girls tomorrow so you'll see that next week. And I am sending you a huge hug and lots of love and I hope you have a great week. I hope 2024 is stunning for us all. Bye guys.